Well, hi, you guys. I'm Denise with Artist at Heart, and I am here with you guys today to share with you some of my favorite finds on Amazon. So I am a huge Amazon shopper. How about you guys? So I have been uh, doing all kinds of shopping in the last 24 plus hours, as well as going live on Amazon. So I'm going to start first. Well, you guys know, well, if you know me, I am an artist and I paint all the time and I create all the time. So I'm going to share with you some of my favorite products and some of my favorite finds. So this right here is a really soft, comfortable sweater that I got this summer. Okay. It has five buttons down the front of it. But one of the things I love most, other than it being super soft and cozy and comfortable for the summer is that the sleeves come longer. So almost to the crease of my arm, I do like a little bit longer sleeves. So this is, again, what I was looking for on Amazon was something a little bit longer. The pleats in the sleeves, I think, make it look more feminine. And there's five buttons. One, two, three, four, five. It comes in different colors. I have a variety of colors. Red, I get the most compliments on. It's just like a really pretty warm red. And again, what I really like a lot are the sleeves. So in the summertime, I I like a longer sleeve just because sometimes I go places and it's freezing out in there. Like, you know, you go to a restaurant and it's ice cold or like a hotel. Sometimes the airplanes are really cold. So I, I usually like to have sleeves just so I don't get too cold and I don't want to carry around a sweater in the summertime. But it's really pretty and soft. And mostly I just love this really fun bright red so i'll show you the back of it it's made out of viscone and acrylic it, it doesn't fall it washes very nicely in cold and i don't put it in the dryer just hang dry it so but i just think it's a really nice color it's good with jeans it's nice i have it on with khakis right now so it goes really with anything but i get i think i get the most co uh compliments on it because of the color so i have a black one also you know you guys we need to pop a pop of color today, right? Everyone is so neutral. Cars are neutral and clothes are neutral. And I just think it's fun to wear bright clothes. I'm an artist. What can I say? So, you know, find a color that works for you. And it's, you guys, it's on sale, $20.79. It's 20% off today. So I definitely, again, would check it out. I um, recommend it. And I like the way it fits. So this is, so you guys, I'm 5'9". I am not going to tell you my weight. <laughs> I don't even want to tell myself my weight, but I am an extra large. So this is an extra large. I have plenty of room. I probably could have gotten a large, but I like, I like a little extra fabric. Okay. And then that way I'm comfortable whether I'm standing or sitting. There's a band across the bottom of it. Again, it's very soft. You could put a tank top on if you want to. It comes, you know, I don't think it's too revealing at all. I definitely think that this would be great for, you know, professionally or for going out. I feel like it's very versatile. I could wear it, you know, to a meeting and then go to happy hour. <laughs> right? Yes, I like happy hour. So um, anyways, I feel like it's very versatile and and good and comfortable for the summer. I would wear this, you know, through the fall. I think it's a, a really fun, feminine, comfortable piece to wear for 20 bucks. Come on. All right. Anyway, I got it because you know what, you guys, I uh, was at an Amazon event in uh, May, I was a presenter. They asked me to come and um, talk about my story of how I ended up on Amazon. How did I end up on Amazon? It's an amazing story, right? And I'll tell you guys as we keep going. But I just wanted, again, if I find something that I just absolutely love on Amazon, I share it with you guys. And this is one of the one of the finds. I got it for my Amazon trip. I presented in Orlando, Florida at a, a VidFest conference and this was one of my pieces that I wore. I wore a lot of red, but again, I was actually told by the photographer uh, who was there for VidFest to stand out. She's like, you want to stand out. You want to stand out on the stage. You don't want to be neutral. Cause I was like, oh, I have a black dress. And she's like, 
no, you're not wearing a black dress, especially in photographs, you want to pop. So I was like, oh, okay. I really was thinking more of, you know, just kind of looking professional and slim and uh, slimmer and uh, you know what I mean? Like black, right? And I feel like black is classic. And it was the photographer at VidFest who said, I want you to wear red. So actually I was very thankful for that. I felt like I popped and I've been wearing red all summer. So you guys will probably see a lot of photographs with me in red right off of Amazon, $20 and 79 cents, super comfortable, wears well, washes well, doesn't fall, which is a huge plus, okay? Back is very nice. Love the pleats and the sleeves. Five buttons down the front. And you know what I like about the buttons is the buttons are red. So the buttons match the sweater. So I sometimes you get buttons that are white or black. And I think it's just, you know, like it takes away from the design of it. So the buttons are the same color as the sweater, which I really like. So again, it's viscone and acrylic. It's very soft, breathable. I'm very comfortable. I'm in Cleveland, Ohio, you guys, and it's hot. It's a hot summer, but this is, I wear it again. I went to a concert the other night, which was outdoors. Very comfortable. If I'm inside in a restaurant, I'm comfortable because sometimes, you know, it's kind of cold in the restaurant. So that's why I like to wear sleeves is just so that I don't get too cold or too hot, right? So that's really important, especially at my age. You never know when a flash is going to hit you. Okay, you guys. Yes, I'm going through that time of my life where all of a sudden I have a flash. So if I break out into a sweat on camera, it's really not because of the temperature of the house. It would be my internal temperature. Again, one more reason why I like this sweater whether I'm hot, cold, it keeps me extremely comfortable and I get a lot of compliments on the pretty color of it. All right, let's go on. So you guys do know, thank you for following me by the way. So I'm Denise with Artist at Heart and I am an artist. I paint and create all the time. And I, so I'm going to share with you just a few. I have so much, I'm glad you guys can't see the space around me because it might be a little bit messy. So I'm going to carefully step over this core and grab some of my sketchbooks. Okay. So again, I don't know if you guys know how this all started with me. It depends on if you've been following me or not, but I uh, was an art teacher in Cleveland in the public schools for 20 plus years. So I am very familiar with a lot of art products. And, uh, and then I went into my own business because I want to expand and start teaching beyond the classroom and teaching all ages and abilities. So now I teach really all ages and abilities all over the place, both virtually and in person. Okay. So these, you guys are some of my favorite finds that I, I've been using for a very long time. So these are uh, creating pads. They're like canvas, but flat, right? So it's an artist's sketchbook mixed media mixed media means any type of supply you guys can tell i'm messy i'm a messy artist i'm going to tell you that right off the bat so um mixed media mixed media multimedia so i can use watercolor paint i can use acrylic paint i can use oil paint i don't use oil i don't recommend oil to people i used oil in college it's messy it smells you need a lot of ventilation stick with i love acrylic that's my my favorite, but these pads are amazing because you can use, again, any type of supply. They're really durable and the color looks great on them. So, and they also, you know, they have the spiral edge, but they're not dangerous. How about those? Like, oh my God, those, did you guys ever have those spiral notebooks in high school and they would snag on your sweater? Oh my gosh. Right. Or hang off this. So these don't do that. They're not sharp, right? They're durable, smooth easy to use, great for adults, great for kids. So, um, all right. That's not a very, that's probably like, I was, I was teaching pointillism. So here was like a pointillism project with markers. If you're familiar with pointillism at all, uh, again, so you can use markers on these and look, the edge is perforated right here. So you can have a nice clean rip. If you're a teacher and you want to, you know, give each student a piece of this you can easily do that or again for myself i use it sometimes i rip it out you can put it in a frame because it's a little bit thicker than paper right durable so it doesn't go back all right you could tell i made this one last year during the olympics we did the olympic rings 
one of my favorites. Are you guys familiar with this one? You know what this is? Yes, Starry Night. So you guys, this is oil pastel. Love oil pastel. Oil pastel works awesome on paper and it also works awesome on canvas and these pads. So again, if you use oil pastel on paper, it needs to be a little bit of a heavier weight, like a tag board, because oil pastel is thicker, right? So these, the colors on oil pastel are beautiful. So again, I love the texture and line look. So Van Gogh is the one who created Starry Night, and it, he's known for his expressive lines, right? So what better way to show it than with oil pastel. You can even combine. So mixed media means if you're creating an artwork, like if you see in, you know, somewhere it says mixed media, maybe you're using more than one type. So this would be oil pastel. Maybe I add some paint on top of it so that it becomes a mixed media. Watercolor paint looks amazing on top of the oil pastel. And I can do that for you guys later just to show you how beautiful it works on here. I wanted to start by just showing you again, how versatile this is because you can use any type of supply in this book and you can rip it out or you can keep it in there. So this is on sale for $9 all right? So that's a great deal. And again, you can rip it out, but I don't see how easy it rips out. I don't want to rip it out now in case I decide to paint on it later with you guys. Oh, I was teaching about rainbow fish. So not everything I got a chance to finish. These were just like, sometimes I was practicing or thinking about what I was gonna do. I love rainbow fish. Oh, do you know what that is? Hungry caterpillar. Are you guys familiar with a hungry caterpillar? Okay. Hungry caterpillar at a picnic in the summertime with disgusting spiders. But we were making it cute. Oops, upside down. Picnic basket. Have you guys gone on any picnics this summer? That's something fun you could do, right? Pack a picnic, go to the beach. See, oh, look at speak at the beach. All right, can you see that? So this would be markers, just regular markers on this. And you can use it horizontal or vertical, portrait or landscape, whatever you want. Let's see what other pictures we did. Colorful turtle. Bar we did this one for Father's Day. We did a fun barbecue. Number one dad, right? Oh, maybe I'll do this one next. Okay, so I have tape on the back of there and it's stuck to my picture. But I love doing campfires, especially in the summer. Do you guys love campfires? Who who likes to um who likes to go camping in a tent? I prefer to be in a cabin, but I have done my share of camping in a tent. And I was in the Girl Scouts a long time ago. All right, so this, again, this is acrylic. So this is why I want to show you all these different varieties. Acrylic, watercolor, oil pastel, crayon, marker. That's why it says mixed media, because you can use any type of media you want on these sketchbooks. They're durable. Okay, I only use one side of them. Let me see if it went through the back. No, look, it didn't even go through it, just the messy edges, and it's perforated. So not just here on the top, but along here. So if you want a clean edge to cut it out, I tend to leave most of my artworks inside of my book, you know, unless I need to frame it or give it to somebody or, you know, color pencil. Oh, we're back to Mother's Day. Yep, all the way back to Mother's Day. So again, I just wanted to show you guys that I use these. I love these. I teach online classes and I teach in person. All right, we go. I'm having flashbacks, you guys. This went all the way back to Groundhog's Day. <laughs> so I was doing these virtually with the kids. I have a, a group of um, online students that I create with. So again, these are markers, color pencil. Now it's funny, I'm going all the way back, all the way back to Valentine's Day. That kind of matches my sweater, huh? Hugs, goat. Oh, I forgot someone, one of the moms told me what goat stands for. I can't remember, 
And I was like, go, why does one of the, cause I had a little box of the candies and I was pulling them out. And as I pulled them out, I wrote whatever was on the heart. And I was like, go, it stands for something. The kids knew what it was or one of the mothers, but I, I don't remember. So again, I'm just, what I want you to see are all the different designs and all the different, oh, remember this? In like a lion, out like a lamb. Was that true where you guys were? I'm going backwards in time. So I have this online class and we create different things every month, right? We go step by step. Now, initially, again, I was a Cleveland art teacher. And then I started my own business in person, both kids and adults. Now I'm a hybrid. I'm an accidental entrepreneur. So I was doing in-person paint parties. I had 2,000 followers. And then, you know, COVID hit. And what happened? All my jobs are canceled. Panic everywhere. And my followers, of course, were all talking about what were they going to do with their kids because the kids weren't going to go to school. So I set up, I, I made a post that said, hey, you guys want to do some online classes? I'll teach your kids during COVID because I thought it was going to last a week. So they shared that post and I went from 2,000 followers to 30,000 followers in two days. I did my first online live class. Oh, this is, this one's coming up. I'm going to do this one. Um, I did my first online live class Monday, March 16th of 2020. I had like people from all over the world watching. I had a lot of help because I had never taught an online class before ever. Right. But I was like, all right, I know how to paint. I know how to draw. I know how to teach. I just am not good in technology. So anyway, I had, I thought I was like, all right, you guys, I'll do this with you, teach you online until you go back to school, which again, I thought was going to be like a week and it was for a long time. So now things are back open. I have, I still have an online group that I teach uh, art to, and now I have over 300 art videos. Uh, you just saw some of the samples and I use different supplies, right? Like I use acrylics and watercolor. I use um, color pencil. You name it. I use it. You guys, I have a YouTube channel, Artist at Heart. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Instagram. But my big following, the 30,000 followers were on Facebook and they still are. And so um, I have a Facebook group and, uh, and so how I ended up on Amazon was one of the people that were helping me in the group. He, his name's Jim Fuse, kudos to Jim Fuse. So many people kept asking me for a supply list. Every day I was going live and I'm like, you guys, it's a pandemic. Just use whatever's in your house. And they wanted a list. So I was creating these supply lists and I'm like, okay, you can use whatever you want, but here's some supply lists. And it was just a natural fit an accidental entrepreneur that Jim Fuse helped me get on Amazon. And then every time I did an art class, I could tag all the products that I was using in the class on Amazon. So it really helped a lot of people order supplies who wanted to. And so again, thank you so much. If you follow me on Amazon, I do um, teach a variety of classes on there and so what happened was I was using so many canvas and I was taking up so much space that I was like, I need to use these. So I got myself a bunch of these. I have a bunch of these around here and um, I create in this all the time. So that's why I just want to give you guys a look at it went all the way back. Right. And then I'm going to start doing back. We don't want to talk to back about back to school yet. We're not going to talk about back to school. So I'm not even going to talk about the school bus. We're going to focus on campfires and camping and beach vacations. Let's talk about fun summer stuff. Okay. Now I want to talk also about, because this is another one of my fun favorites. Where's my, I have a great blue hair and I wonder if I put him back in here. All right. Oh yeah. He's in here. So I showed you guys the mixed media one, the watercolor one is thicker. So when you're using watercolor paint, you're using a lot of water and a little bit of paint. It's much more transparent. It's not as heavy and thick as acrylic paint. So the watercolor paint, again, is a little bit, or watercolor paper is a little bit thicker, no spiral bind, okay? And the paper comes out very easily, but I wanted to show you. There goes my palette. It's a blue, great blue heron, okay? So I love this is a summer painting. We just did this one again, watercolor paint on 
the watercolor paper. You can use it vertical or portrait style, or you can use it landscape or horizontal, however you want to. And what I want to show you guys is one, it's thick, right? So it's got a thick, nice weight to it, and it didn't buckle. You could pop this into a frame. You could make it into a card. You can keep it in your book. It doesn't matter. Whatever you want to do to it, it absorbs the color beautifully. It has no smell. You guys, in, so I went to art school. I went to the Cleveland Institute of Art. Oh, my God. The watercolor paper we had to use, it had such a funky smell. When you wet it, it smelled kind of like someone was dirty and if you've ever used watercolor paint you know what I'm talking about but it had a funky smell and I thought it was someone sitting next to me then I that was like my all right I was 18 my first day of art school and then I realized oh it's really the paper that's stinking so it's not the person sitting next to me I don't even remember who was sitting next to me this has no smell it's thick beautiful smooth so no texture absorbs the paint very well does not go through to the back do you see that so that's how thick it is colors beautifully again so that's why i love those sketchbooks so much all right now as a teacher i got to talk about my favorite pencils why are, are pencils such a big deal you guys why would pencils be you know why because kids sharpen pencils all the time okay it's why so as, if you're a teacher or a parent right like again especially if they're trying to do homework and they just want to fiddle um so what happens a lot with those pretty nice pencils that you buy because the kids like them because they look all decorated and stuff like that. They're really cheap and the lead inside of them is super cheap. So let's just say you drop your pencils, your child, let's blame it on the kids. The kids drop the pencils, right? The lead inside actually cracks and breaks. So when you sharpen it, did you ever sharpen a pencil and then the lead comes out of it and you have like a stick of lead, right? And I hate, don't buy your kids mechanical pencils because that drives everybody crazy. They just sit there and play with them and then they pull the lead out or they don't have any lead and then they can't use it anymore. What a waste. Okay, so you guys, wait till I, yeah. Um, these are, can you see that? The best pencils. Okay. Tickum, I don't know if, I, let's call them Dixon. Dixon pencils. They're Tickum Droga. I don't even know how you pronounce it. Okay, but they are the typical number two pencil, which is what you always have to use when you're taking a test. Super strong, durable, great for writing, comfortable, awesome eraser, and they are strong. So again, as an educator, super strong. You want that so the kid, whoever, including myself, is not over at the sharpener all the time sharpening their pencil. Not only are these great, I'm going to find something to sketch on. Not only are these great to... Let's go back to my, we'll go back to my sketchbook. But not only are these great for writing, I journal every day, by the way. They're great for journaling, but they're great for sketching. So I'm going to sketch something for you guys. I don't know. We'll do something simple. I'll, do, I'll use it back one. So here's my the back of my paper. So let's say, so a sketch is a really light drawing, right? I'm going to... I'm going to sketch a little bit harder just so you can see it better. So I'm going to do an, like an oval, right? Here, I'll do, I'll do something kind of fun and quick. Okay. So again, I use these in art classes. I use them for writing, taking tests, whatever it is. So I don't specifically buy uh, drawing pencils. I use these because they're strong. All right, look at that. I still, can you see the tip? I have any, it's still sharp. It's still nice. Okay. So if I was teaching an art lesson, I would still use this pencil. So right now I'm, I'm just kind of sketching out a head. A big bald head. How about that? So let's say. Proportion, I'll just do a quick sketch of a face. So I'm going to break the face, not break it, but I'm going to split it in half just so you guys get an idea of where things go. So I'm going to do an eye here, an eye here. The distance between the two eyes would be like a third eye. Did you know that? So let me do it a little darker. You see that a little bit better?
We could do a girl, a boy, an alien, whatever you want. I'm just trying to give you guys an idea of this pencil and how great this pencil works. Okay. We do a nose. We're just doing a sketch. Eraser works great too, by the way. All right, who doesn't look better with hair? So we'll we'll put some hair on there. And it's hard to draw from the side. Can you tell? Can you tell I'm having a hard time drawing from the side? But really, what I want you to see is how nice these pencils sketch. All right, so. And a race, right? Getting there? So let's say you want to do something like your shading. All right, this was from last year. We talked about the Van Gogh. We can shade. We can shade in my rainbow fish. Just if, even though we're using a pencil, I want to show you guys how you can shade with a pencil too. Okay, so watch this. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna do this one. So when I'm teaching shading, I would say you want to press as hard as you can. And look, I'm pressing pretty hard as I'm shading this. It didn't break. Right? And I'm pressing pretty hard, but I'm col I'm coloring. I'm shading with my pencil. I'm just coloring it in. And then the, here I'm going to do it a little bit lighter. And you could do a whole entire art project with this one pencil. And you would try to get as many variations of shading as possible with one pencil, right? Like that would be, that would keep your kids busy. All right, so I'm gonna do this part a little bit lighter. So when you're shading lightly, I'm going in one direction and I'm going as light as I possibly can. And now you see dark, medium, and light. And you can layer it. You can overlap it. You can cross hatch. Did you ever hear of cross hatching? So now I will go in the other direction. That's cross hatching. See how it's getting a little bit deeper? Still, I have barely used, look at that. I've barely used any of that. Is that crazy? That's why this, these pencils are so awesome, you guys. So whether you buy it for your own family or you get them for your teachers at school, Teachers love when you give them pencils. I do, at least, as long as they're the nice pencil. <laughs> I don't like the cheap ones. But comfortable, great for sketching, great for shading, great for writing, super durable. And you could even watch this. You could even go into it with your eraser and add some highlights. See that? So you could just pull out some of the color. Another way when you're shading, you can always smear it with your finger. Okay, so again, th that is why I love these pencils. So how long have I been doing this now, right? I've been shading for a while and I still have a nice tip, but I am gonna show you my favorite pencil sharpener that I have had for a while. It's an Exacto Powerhouse. Okay, so Exacto Powerhouse. I am, even though I still have. Oh, can you guys see the tip on this? I wore it down slightly. So there's one hole 
right? Which fits your snare pencil. Sorry, I'm making the race. Super easy. Look now, look at that point. Can you see that? Oh my gosh. That's a point. So the electric pencil sharpener is not too loud, right? So if you're in a classroom, you don't want to hear that all day long. Um, and then the shavings go in here. And then every day, usually in the classroom, someone has a job and they dump this out. This is it for me in my room. I have this in my art studio. I have it in my classroom, right? Always, it's been working a long time and it's, it is plug in, right? So it's got, sorry, this is my personal view. It When you plug something in, it has more power. This thing has power. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take one of my ones that are not even sharpened yet. Okay. So completely not even sharpened yet. I'll show you. Perfect. Can you see that? Nice, beautiful tip that I have on there. All right. So again, you got a nice sharpener. You got some nice pencils. You're good to go. Whether it's for yourself, your kids, a classroom, a teacher. Amazing. Okay. All right, let's move on. So now you guys know about my favorite drawing and sharpener. So what I have in every single room in my house, in every drawer and in my car too, are Sharpies. Okay. So you can label things with your Sharpies. You can label pretty much anything, right? If you have kids and they lose their clothes all the time, you can put their name in it, whatever it is. Um, I like to not only label stuff and I label things for my freezer, put the date on it. I also draw with Sharpies. So you guys just saw me sketch things out, right? And I like to draw. If I'm doing an artwork that entails pre-drawn, I do it in Sharpie. That way when I add, I hate to show you snowmen, but this one we just happened to be at the closest reach right now. So I did the snowmen with my Sharpie marker, right? And it doesn't matter the size. So this is an eight by 10 canvas drawn out with Sharpie, Sharpie marker. These are the fine point, which is a perfect size, right? Um, I also did here, I'll show you like this one yesterday. So you guys, if you're looking, if you want to see the painting, you can go back. I was live yesterday. I did this one live on camera, but this one I pre drew on the canvas with my Sharpie marker. And I have another one here, which I'm going to do. I already drew it on here. So this one, because I told you I love camping. So if you've been watching me and thank you for following me. So I'm going to do a campfire painting. So again, this is all pre-drawn with the Sharpie marker. And when I paint over it, it won't bleed into the paint. So bleeding is when a marker that's not permanent gets wet. It gets real fuzzy right? You don't want that to happen in your painting. So this way I pre-trace it with the uh, Sharpie onto my canvas and I can paint right on top of it. Okay. It works great. Again, very, very nice. I use the fine point, which has a nice tip to it. Do you see that? So here I'll put a little so even if I'm up vertical versus flat, if I'm up vertical, it's still going to work, right? Um, let's let's add a bird in the sky. So again, that's really important to me to have a marker that works both vertical and flat. And but the most important thing is it's really nice to use a Sharpie so it doesn't bleed. And a lot of times, you guys, when I'm at a paint party, I have people not paint their name. I have them wait till their paint is dry and then I have them sign their signature with a Sharpie because it's much easier to use even um, outlining your painting. So if you wait for your painting to be dry at the very end, you can re outline it with a Sharpie as long as your paint is dry and then you're going to get a nice, clean line. A lot of people don't have great fine motor control. So to take a black, a paintbrush and with black paint and outline everything, it's, it can be a little hard. So I always, always, always have Sharpies around. Again, whether I'm labeling things or I'm drawing, if I sketch it out first with a pencil, I trace over with a Sharpie so I can see it and I can paint with it and it comes out great. All right. So there is my, I'm going to paint this later. Okay. 
All right, you guys. So next I want to talk to you guys about watercolor paint. Do you guys know the difference between watercolor paint and acrylic paint? Water, where's my little pelican? So this pelican is done in watercolor paint. So watercolor paint is more transparent than acrylic or oil, which again, I don't even use oil, but so watercolor paint is a lot of water and a little paint. Crayola sets are great to have for your kids, okay? Or for you, if you want to practice, they're very relaxing. I did this one with Crayola watercolor paint, okay? So they come out really nice, non-toxic, no fragrance, mess-free. Literally cleans up super easy. Um, you do need a lot of water and a little bit of paint and some watercolor paper. So you don't really want to use computer paper because it'll get all wavy and buckly. But these are great to have. Take them on vacation with you guys. Um, add them to your classroom if you're a teacher. You should always have, just for yourself, even if you just don't do something that is subject matter, like a great blue hair, maybe you're just doing a design or your initials or just, just color, right? Just, it's very, very relaxing and very therapeutic. So I highly recommend you guys try some watercolor paint. My favorite is acrylic. I am an acrylic artist. I, uh, you know why I love acrylic paint is because I am messy and it's kind of hard to cover up, uh, a mistake. If you make a mistake with a, a watercolor, so acrylic paint it happens to be, all right, this is messy. I told you guys I'm pretty messy. So it's more opaque. So that means if I make a mistake, I can cover it up. All I have to do is wait for it to dry. When you're using watercolor paint, if you were going to layer it, you would still see that kind of mistake underneath it. Again, I enjoy watercolor, but my favorite is acrylic paint. So I like the Air, Apple Barrel paints because it comes in a variety of colors. So you can already have them pre-mixed for you in these little two ounce bottles, or you can make the color yourself, right? So if I wanted to make pink or my own version of pink, I could take the apple barrel red and mix a little bit of white into it and create my own colors. So these, you guys, 2384, okay? And you get a bunch of colors, love them. They work great. They're really pretty and vibrant. Um, two ounces. So I like to bring when I do a paint party, I bring the little bottles just in case someone asks for a color that, you know, is not part of the painting, but they want to try. So I am going to talk about, oh my gosh, this is so fun. You guys, I have, I haven't opened it up. I'm going to open it up later. You guys want to talk about a fun, fun project. This is awesome. You can do, uh, this is a gift for a wedding or for a baby shower. Uh, but it, what it is, is it is, um, it's called Luna Bean and it's a mold. So you can like create hand mold, footprint molds. You could do you and your fiance, both of you put your hands in there and you create a, like a mold of you guys holding hands. Or again, you could do your baby hand in there. It's a big bucket. So it's a, it's a plaster keepsake. But you want to talk about a fun, creative gift for somebody? You want to think outside the box? That would be it. So it takes minutes to do. Cherish for a lifetime. You could do couples' hands, a parent and a child, a hand and an object, anything that fits inside the bucket. You're going to create a cast for. So um, it's a rubbery mold, and it captures every detail, and it's non-toxic. Okay, non-allergenic and it has a very quick setting plaster statue kit so this is for one kid just fyi so um it has the molding powder casting stone demolding sick stick sandpapers and all of your instructions so i'm going to open it up and do it later but i want to share it with you because if you're looking for like a fun creative gift this would be something very 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 unique right all right, I'm going to talk because I'm starting to lose my voice. Can you tell? Ah, I've been talking a lot. Okay, so let's put the bucket down. Let's talk about, because I need a drink. So I'm going to talk about vital proteins again, which are on sale. Okay, really, really cheap right now. Really cheap on Amazon. Vital proteins, 32 54 You guys, so I take these every day. 
so as you get older, you lose your collagen. Your skin gets affected by collagen. You lose your elasticity, right? So um, the vital protein not only is collagen peptides, but it also has protein. So two scoops is 18 grams of protein, which is what I'm going for. I add one scoop to my coffee in the morning and then I'm like, well, I have, a, I'm sorry, this is just water, but it's in a pretty mason jar. I wanted to get clear, but I, I forgot my clear. All right. So you guys are just, cause this is going to be clear, but it, it's so fine and it has no flavor, no scent. And you don't have to have both scoops at the same time. You could, if you want to, but I like having like a little bit in the morning and then a little bit later in the day. So again, these are awesome on sale. I take it all the time and I'm just going to watch. I'm just going to put it in the water. This is just plain water. Sorry, I forgot. And I had this here in case I, and I'm going to mix it in there. It has no flavor and, and no smell. Okay. I had a scoop this morning in my coffee. I'm going to set it here just so I um, can keep drinking it because I'm talking a lot. Go figure. And I don't want to lose my voice. I've noticed a difference in my hair, nail, skin. I noticed a difference with, and I am no doctor, but my joint pain. So what happened was I stopped using it. I was like, I don't know if that stuff works, you know, like, so um, after about a month, I was like, gosh, my hips are aching. Why are my hips aching? Nothing had changed other than I was a little bit older. So I thought, oh my gosh, I wonder if that stuff was really helping my joints because it has all these great amino acids in it and the collagen. So I started taking it again and I, you guys, my pain seriously like went away and I don't know what that was noticed for. So, um, anyway, that's always on my shelf. It's on sale. It's a deal of the day. Grab it. I'm getting more. Okay. Gotta have it for me. I have it all the time, twice a day. You could do both scoops in the morning and be done with it. Add it to whatever you want to. Okay. Again, you could add it to water, coffee, tea, whatever you want to. It's really good stuff. All right. What else was I going to tell you guys about? Well, this is I'll tell you about my hands. <laughs> Where's my hands? Okay. So when you guys do, if you do a paint party, which I highly recommend you should, whether you're hosting it yourself and you and your friends are going to get together, you can put on a video of me. Okay. You can go on YouTube, Artist at Heart. You can go on Amazon. I have my art videos on Amazon and um, Artist at Heart paint party on YouTube where I'm teaching people how to do step-by-step -step paintings. When I'm on Amazon, I'm also teaching step-by-step, -step, but I feature products. I tag products on Amazon. And, um, but these hats are so fun. If you're going to do a paint party, whether for children or adults and they come in different colors. All right. So I have these and I try to match my, um, I try to match my hat with whatever it is that I'm teaching or I wear, match it with my outfit. Most of the time you guys are going to see me in the red hat. Okay. Mine has paint on it. All right. Cause I'm a messy artist. I told you. I'm a messy artist. I don't know French. You know what I know in France? Uh, croissant? Uh, a croissant? <laughs> French fries? <laughs> All right. I like food. Okay. So anyway, it comes in a bunch of fun colors. But again, if you're going to host a paint party, get one of these and you just put them out as favors. Paint parties are also really fun to do uh, for like, sh again, shower, wedding, birthdays, whatever. Just... But the colors are fun and you just, you know, you could put them out on the table. Everybody can pick their own. They can match their clothes, right? This is actually purple. It looks kind of dark on the camera. Um, yeah. So, you know, fun, stretchy. They can keep them, right? You're not going to keep them. Let them put on their hat and take them home. It's like a nice keepsake. So, all right. What else do I want to show you guys? I want to show you. Oh, here. Oh my gosh. I love, this is one of my favorite products. All right. You guys ready for this? 
So these are neon glow in the dark paint. All right. So I tend to, I actually am doing a project with the school next week and we're using this. So we have, um, here it is. So they're little, they come in little, little containers because you don't need a lot of them. Right. So here, I'll pull out. here's the box. Okay. So they're little containers and they're super fun. And I would suggest you use a small paintbrush because again, it's a small container. Let's see if I can manage this. Open it up. Look at how fun and bright. Can you see that? And you, I, what I would do is layer it. So if it's not as opaque, so I used a black canvas, which I have more of, I'll show you in a minute. You can use black canvas. You can use black paper. I forgot to, I'll show you that too. But anyway, so these are neon and they glow, right? So I'm going to just show you as an example, I'll take a paintbrush. So here's my little jar of paint. And then, so it's already dry. My first coat is already dry. If I want to be more opaque, I could just add a second coat. Do you see that? So this is a thinner paint, but it does glow. It's really pretty. Kids love this. And it works best for me on black. I love it on black. Here, I'll show you one coat. Put one, I'll put one of these over here. There's one coat. Did you see that? And then again, if you want to add a second coat, let it dry. Isn't that fun and pretty? Again, and kids love it. So washable, nice. I'll show you when I'm white too, just because I have. Let me set this aside. I'll go back to my rainbow fish that I was doing before. Okay. So the rainbow fish, here's what I'll show you what it looks like. Oh, I just got a big look at that. So that's what it looks like on white. But I like it on black. Right? The black looks pretty cool. It's fun to paint in black if you've never done it. So let me see. I think I have my black canvas here so I can show you the black canvas. Oh, there it is. Okay. So you guys, I have it right here. I love black canvas. So this is 11 by 14. Okay. This is Arteza 11 by 14 black canvas. This is fun to do. There's a, this is a eight pack. Okay. So you could do it with a group of kids. Actually, I have a group of kids doing it with me next week. And uh, again, you can pre-sketch it or we can just paint freehand. So love these. It's fun to do something for Halloween. Again, they glow. Super fun. Super fun jellyfish, you know, make them kids love jellyfish. So do I, right? So that would be a fun, fun project along with your Neon Knights paint. I'll put a little bit more paint on there just so you can see it. Uh -oh. Just drop something. There you go. You get the idea? Right? All right. So it has a lot of fun, bright colors. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. You have eight fun, bright colors. There's green, yellow, pink, blue. Fun stuff. Fun, 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 fun. Oh yeah, I should show you guys the paintbrushes I was using too. So I just used 
one of these paintbrushes. So these are long handled flat paint brushes, birch wood handles. All right, $9.99, which is a great price for 12 paint brushes. I mean, it's 23% off. All right, and they're nylon. So it's great for students. I mean, if great for a beginner or students, easy cleanup, you know, we're going for fun art, not fine art, right? So it comes in a variety of sizes in a value pack. Actually, I have them right here. So I have a bunch of them because I teach. It says acrylic, oil, a variety. You can use it with watercolor too. Again, I stick with mostly acrylic paint. So there you have it. Okay. Let's see what else I get to show you guys. It's funny because I was like, I was going to show you this electric table I have that I'm working on, but I didn't. Um, all right, let's connect. On sale, twenty dollars and ninety nine cents. Okay, that's not that's pretty cheap, you guys. I paid more than that. All right, hold on, you gotta. Put my paintbrush down so this is my new fun summer drink so i found out about this stuff about maybe two months ago i'm like you guys this new drink they're like that's not new zoa love it okay so this is my kind of midday after lunch drink if you're not a, i'm a coffee drinker so i drink coffee in the morning and then this comes in handy right about now this is peach which i find very refreshing uh, very light. There's 10 calories in here, you guys. There is caffeine, okay? That's why I'm drinking it. 10 calories. So it has 80% vitamin C. Um, it helps you focus. It has vitamin B and vitamin B12. Hydration. It has... Um, potassium and magnesium electrolytes. Okay. That's huge. So for, you know, like an energy drink, which is what I believe they're classifying this is as an energy drink, but it doesn't make you speed. Like some of the energy drinks I have, and I'm like, you know, it makes me too jittery. This, I would say, well, it tells you how much caffeine is in here, 120 milligrams. So that's probably like a, a good cup of coffee, right? So some of the other stuff is way too strong for me. Um, and the caffeine comes from green tea extract and green coffee plus vitamin B1 and B2. And uh, it has amino acids in it. So this, again, is a really nice 10 calorie drink. Very refreshing. I happen to love white peach. Okay, this is white peach. So good. Um, yeah, what else do I want to tell you about it? Healthy warrior, healthy warrior. Okay. So I'm drinking the white peach right now. So I'm going to tell you my second favorite flavor. Okay. If you haven't tried it, tropical punch matches my shirt, <laughs> but I didn't open it yet. So I didn't want to open it until later. I probably would have two of these a day. It actually, I'm not, I'm not promoting it as, but it curbs my hunger. So I definitely, again, after right around this time of the day, maybe I need a little pick me up. This is it. It gives me a little, so this is the tropical punch one. And I really like this one. Also my favorite, I'm going to go back to my favorite one. They're both on sale, $20.99, right? So that's a great deal. And then you guys, if you go to the store and buy an individual one of these, they're like, they're like three bucks. So yeah, that's like a lot more. This is $20. So three times 12, that's 36. I'm not great in math, but that's like $16 more, $15 more. Cause this is $20.99 for 12 of them. Okay. That's a great price. So it comes right to your door. Come on. That's awesome. All right. So again, this is tropical punch. And we have white peach. So whatever works for you guys. Again, those are my favorites. Let me talk about some more art supplies. So 
If you're not on Amazon with me right now, you guys check out Amazon. Oh, I, I painted with this yesterday. These were really fun. Now I got to see where I put them. Mm -hmm. So I have art supplies all over the place. I had never painted with gouache before. Hold on. I got to go get it. It's really fun and cool. So these are gel, they're called jelly gouache, okay? And it comes, ooh, did you see that? I almost fell out my window. <laughs> so these are um, Art Key jelly gouache. Comes in a little set like this with the handle, right? This kit, yesterday I was like, oh, this is interesting. So yesterday was the first time that I used these. It was really fun. The colors are amazing, okay? So the lid, it unclips like that and then you open it carefully oh the clips are on the side too because i was worried about the paint drying out because i'm going to show you why so you open it up see each color has a seal on it but then i was like well how what's going to happen once i i don't use all that there's a lot of paint in there because there's a seal let's pull out a fun color let's try this this color all right so you pull off the peel like this. You see that? And then your paint is on the inside of it. This goes in the trash. You don't save that. And then you can paint with that. I'll go back to my rainbow fish. I keep using that as an example. This is my sample for today. All right, just to show you guys different stuff. All right, and I'm just gonna scoop up that gouache. Here, I'll do this part right here. Do you see how thick that is? Actually, that looks black, but it's purple. It's very opaque. And very rich color. I know it looks black, I'm gonna have to. Sometimes on camera, purple looks black. You know what I'm going to do? If I mix a little blue in it, let's, let's mix a little blue. I always love mixing purple and blue because you get this really fun color. How's that? So that's that same purple with some sky blue. And this is gouache. Just really creamy and heavy bodied, thick and opaque. So opaque means you can't see through it. So look at, did you see how it's covering up all my lines? See that? You can't see the line anymore. So that's what I'm using. I'm using these Art Key gouache. Paints. And this again, this is my sample. I've been using all the different products on this rainbow fish here. So look at down here. I had that splotch of red. Look at it covered it right up. Where else is a. Well, I don't want to do the lips. Blue. See that? So if you guys like art, thanks for following me. So I'm on Amazon and you could follow and see, you know, any kind of art projects. So right now I'm just showing you this gouache. I'm going to show you all the cool colors in a minute. It's very opaque. And again, opaque means you don't see through it. So let me let me show you this kit. It's pretty cool. 
So yesterday, if you watched yesterday, I had this, um, look at this. So it comes in this kit. These are all the colors. Each color has a seal over it. So as you open them up, you take the seal off of it. And I was, yesterday was the first time I used them. So you just take the seal off, right? And then I was like, well, what's going to happen to that paint? It's going to dry up. Well, that's when I realized, oh, the lid that goes on top of it seals it and protects it from drying out. So today when I open it up, the paint is still very fresh. So you can take off all the seals at the same time if you want to. Look at that pretty color. Can you see that? It's like a lavender, like a pinky lavender. So look at the consistency. Can you see that? It's um, creamy, opaque, really pretty. We'll go back. This is my sample here. Can you see that color? Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. So this would be good to cover up any mistakes if you make a mistake. Oh, you don't make mistakes? Okay, I make mistakes all the time. There we go. That's a really pretty color. So this is called um, gouache. All right. Very pretty. Nice stuff. All right. So here I'm going to show you guys how, um, how to seal it. Okay. So I'm going to set this down. But love the colors. Love the opaqueness of this. Okay. So when you're done, again, okay, you can peel them all off if you want to. You put these little paints back in there, right? So you're going to throw the wrapper away that I pulled off. You drop the paints back in there. You take your cap. You put your cap. See that? It's got like a seal on there too. You put your cap on there and then it seals it. So there's one on the front, on the back. And on the sides. It's kind of hard to do in the air. Can you hear it snapping? Okay, and then you have a handle. Right? It's like a little art kit. Jelly gouache. Colors are amazing. I'm really happy. You can also see the colors on the back. See that? That shows you the kit right there. Super cool, right? Fun, fun, fun. Love it. Just one more fun art project. Oh my gosh, I should show you guys those too. I have so many fun things around me, you guys. It's so fun. Oh my gosh, you love to create. So I find creating really therapeutic. Let's see. I wanna see if I added these in here before. All right, so those gouache, you guys, 25% off, okay? 25 colors, 25% off, $29.99. That's awesome. I want to see if I put these markers in here. Oh, yeah, here they are. Okay, these are really fun. Okay. So these are the Heathrow markers. Okay. Really fun, pretty markers. Great for all ages. They are um, dual tip, right? So they have a really tiny end and then a little bit of a wider tip on one side. I'll show you. So these are really good for doodling, uh, Zentangles. Um, so look at this is one tip. You see that? And then here's the other tip, which is this would be nice for writing. I have a journal. So this is super fine. Can you see that? 
that's a super fine tip. So the super fine tip would be really good for writing, um, drawing, and then this tip would be really nice for coloring, okay? So these are, again, the Heathrone markers. The colors are beautiful and they have the dual tip. So I would definitely use these. You can, um, oh, I just got some paint on my little birdie. You guys can always add marker to a painting. You can add it to anything, really. You can even use it on a canvas. Let's see. Can you see that? Is it too light? I need a brighter color. You can see it, I think. But the colors are really pretty. I know, right, snowman? Think of Christmas in July, okay? I just happen to have this canvas right here. So we'll do some snowman. And we should do a like a matching scarf. What do you think? And I want to show you some different colors. That's super pretty. I really like that one. Let's go something a little bit brighter. This is more of a magenta. Can you see that? And again, you could do a pattern on the scarf. I know, who's thinking about snow right now? I think it's winter in Australia right now. <laughs> I don't know, are we streaming in Australia? Where else is it winter right now? All right, so those are super pretty color, colors of Heathrow markers. Let's try, actually, I should just, I should just finish the scarf, shouldn't I? Again, you can make a pattern on the scarf. Let's do, what color should I do the top hat? Maybe, this is kind of a pretty color. How about that? So I'm using the, uh, wider tip on the marker because I really want you guys to see how nice they color and the color the vibrant colors that these markers have no smell fragrance free You get the idea, right? Okay, so I would recommend these for all ages. The hardest part would be if you're you feel like someone like in under the first grade, they would probably struggle with the caps. But other than that, it's all good. And I think the last thing I'll talk about right now, so I can have a little break, because I'm losing. But I wanted to show you guys about the Faber-Castell color pencils. Color pencils. Color pencils. So, you guys, I like to use a variety of art supplies. So, you know, but Faber-Castell, beautiful. I just went to Guatemala. They had this awesome Faber-Castell uh, store of art supplies in Guatemala. I couldn't, in the mall. I was like, oh, my gosh, that's amazing. I've never seen Faber-Castell in person. I've always bought it on Amazon. and. Um, they actually had a store. So it's very good quality, beautiful colors, colors so nice. Um, I already did an artwork somewhere that had, where's all my colored pencils? 
I want to show you. I was showing it before. So this is actually acrylic. This is not color pencil. But I had one of them in here that was all done in color pencil. Let's see if I can buy it. So I like to do a variety, right? Let's see if I have my colored pencils in here. And I have like 10 different sketchbooks. Oh, here's a colored pencil. There's one done in colored pencil and then I started outlining it with marker. more. Let's see if it's in this one. See, so I told you guys I'm surrounded by sketchbooks and art. Oh, here's my color pencil. So here's another color pencil right there. So again, you guys just think outside the box, keep creating, get inspired, make art. I have to clean this mess up. <laughs> And um, thank you for following me. I'm, I'm Denise at Artist at Heart Paint Party. You guys, I'm on Amazon. I'm on Facebook, Artist at Heart Paint Party. I'm on YouTube, Artist at Heart Paint Party. Uh, and all the other platforms. Facebook is my biggest. That's where really I went live during COVID for the first time and taught some free art, online art classes. Now you guys can watch me on Amazon where I tag the products. It just comes in, you know, kind of is a natural fit, right? Because I can tag any products that I really like. Mm, I'm going to take a little break because I'm losing my voice. Thank you for following me. I'll see you guys again real soon. Bye, you guys. Think outside the box. Think outside the Amazon box, okay? <laughs>